Generation ready to rock. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. The Oilers start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. Reads the play and forces the turnover. Here's a chance. Denies the slapper. Slides the puck ahead to Heronic. And now it's grabbed by Hoaglander. Hughes moves the puck. And he slides it quickly to Pedersen. Edmonton's got the puck here in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Dreisaitl. The Oilers played along the boards. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. Rocks him on the play. You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. Now a quick pass to Nurse. They've really got on their heels here now. Look at this, the cycle game in full effect here. Here's a shot. Kind of goal, James. I mean, you're heavy on the forecheck, you're hounding the pucks, and you're not allowing your opponent to get anywhere. They're back on their heels. You continue to wear them down. They cannot get a line change, and you make sure that you convert on the opportunity. That's just a great goal. The Oilers draw first blood here in period number one. Now, it's been a bit of a scrappy play going back and forth here, James, but they get up by one, and got to wonder if it now opens the game up. In front. No. Oh, the play. Wow. That's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Edmonton's high activity in the offensive zone has resulted in them leading here midway through the first. The Oilers take possession here inside the offensive oh, zone. They score! And that's back-to-back -back snipes! Well, it feels like there's a wave of momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. Still lots of time left in the period. Edmonton's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Nugent Hopkins wins it inside the neutral zone. Takes the pass. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And in this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless misses the net. Stones him in front. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Edmonton's got some breathing room as they lead it 2 nothing. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Oh, what a save by Skinner. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Vancouver's won the face-off. Takes it into the slot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Skinner. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. is in the slot area, and he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Back at the point, they set it up. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. From the back of the cage with the puck. If you can put a couple of these shifts to get... Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, it's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Takes a shot. Stones up with the blocker. Centering feed. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. Works it 
across to Perry. Moves it to McLeod. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Tries to the crease. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Grabs the puck. And he takes the pass. Puck scooped up by Garland. On the attack along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And with the buzzer, that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. Are you looking to impress at your next group event? Then rent out one of our luxury boxes with great views, waiter service, and free merchandise. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. Here we go, middle frame now. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Tempo's been outstanding in the first period, James, and really the only reason this game is close. This is exactly why you build your team from the goaltending position out. Tries to feed it over to Hyman. Here's a chance. Too much traffic in the lane. He scores! That's how you do it. Leadership to a team. I just love the way he's dangling in tight spaces here, James. He knows how to create space for himself and just enough to get to the goaltender and finish it off. The Oilers have already created a mismatch here tonight when you look at the scoreboard, Cheryl, but they're not taking the foot off the gas. Well, they're not, and every time they have an opportunity to shoot, they're putting it to the net, and a lot of confidence for every player here when they get the puck into that offensive zone, the reason why they've got such a heavy lead. Edmonton's got possession at center. Hyman's got it against the boards. With the stop. The shooters work so hard in practice at getting the wrister off fast and hard, James. And this goaltender, he gets across quick and makes the stop. Edmonton's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders. And they lead here in the second. Nugent Hopkins wins it. They'll go to work now on the attack. From center, they get into the attacking area. Shot! Oh, he had the answer on that one! Skinner's had a quiet night, James. He's been watching most of the game from the other end because of the offensive nature of his team tonight. But man, does he make a nice save there. And that's showing that he's emotionally engaged. He's staying prepared, even though he hasn't been busy. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Oilers have taken control of this one, now leading by three. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. McKay has got it across the line. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by CeCe. Kicked away. CeCe's taking it from his own end. Pinned up along the boards. And that's a great heads-up play by Cole. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Janmark's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Here comes the call. And the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if it'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. Look at the power play. Power play players love to be engaged in the game, and this unit is the top in the league for a reason. You can just see the excitement as they step on the ice. They know what they can do. They can make the lead even greater. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Quick pass across to Perry. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Here's the pass. Denies him with the pass. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. The Oilers have been so impressive this evening, James. I mean, the way they started the game, the urgency around the puck, everything that they've done has shown us that they want to be in this game and they want to get on the scoreboard. 
Bluger's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Canucks take possession off the faceoff. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Knocked away by Bluger. Picked up along the boards by Hyman. Handles the pass from the right wing. McKayev's almost back on the ice. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable league and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looked comfortable. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. And here's the pass to Hyman. From the point, looks to make something happen. Stop that one. And it's a quick pass to Suter. The Canucks cross the line and gain the zone. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Gaining steam here on the attack. Taken by Suter. What a He scores! Elias Pedersen! Wow! He gets the shot off from the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. The Canucks are down, but they're certainly not out after that strike. They needed a little offensive flair to get back in this one. Now a deficit of two, and with an intermission that looms ahead, there'll be a lot of talk about and get going in the third. Along the half wall with the puck. The Canucks take possession in the defensive end. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. Be sure to attend our Auto and Light Truck Show next weekend and get a sneak peek at next year's models from the world's top automobile manufacturers. Players are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up. And this one's underway here in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Vancouver's got to have a fresh start in this third period, James. They haven't been urgent, and they've been chasing the entire game. And I could tell that right from puck drop in the first period. They weren't urgent off of the faceoff. They weren't where they needed to be. And it's looked like that all game long. They need to change it now if they want to get back in this one. The Oilers lead this one early in the third period. They have been the more aggressive team offensively with the lead in the shot department. Vancouver's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Hironix got the puck. Takes the feet at the back end. Turn that chance aside. Slittering feed. And it turns off a twig in front of the net. And the puck's kicked free. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Gains the zone through center. Moves it to McDavid. Denies him in front. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Edmonton's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. Nugent Hopkins has won the draw. They'll go to work offensively. Fires it on net. Oh, and it's another save on the play. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Edmonton's on the attack. Nice stop by Demko. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Still lots of time left here in this frame. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. The Canucks win the draw here in their own end. Quick feed to Hughes. Poked away in the defensive end. Slides it over with pace to Hughes. And now he moves it to Suter. Fires it! Oh, what a save 
believe how the one-timer he was dialed in there. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Nugent Hopkins has it in their own end. Sends it over to Yanmark. Proceeds to pass. And he was ready for that one. Well, that wrister had some heat, James, but he was able to get in front of it and turn it aside. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Shot! Denies him with the pad. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Edmonton's got the puck at the defensive end. Now he takes it over the line. Puts it on that big time stop. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. McDavid's won the face off here in the offensive zone. And they continue to apply pressure here. Team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Here in the late going of the frame, the Oilers are up 3-1. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Can't get it to go. Dreisaitl is going to play it from the back of the cage. And he takes the feed. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. A little rock'em, sock'em on the play. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stick save. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Scores! And they finish it on the rebound. What a goal. attacker comes on with the goalie out of the net they have the advantage and they use it perfectly they're all over the ice they're all over the puck coverage is running and they bury it Edmonton's looking to close things out here they've been the dominant team all night hard to see them taking their foot off the gas now and with the centers tied up he swoops in to take possession from the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Play blown dead, let's get the call. Just when the coach is likely thinking about pulling the goalie because you're down by one, you take a penalty, tough call.